A modern electric car with a retro design, trike style. Made in beautiful Tallinn, Estonia. Thought up by an unconventional inventor with big plans for the future. Well, the dreams are that we're going to fill uh, the world with those beautiful little cars. But it's a long way to the top if you're starting from scratch. Longer still if fate smacks you back down hard, as happened to Nobe in 2019. When the fire was extinguished, then this is uh, what was left of the shop. It's taken Nova two years to get back to this stage. How did they manage it? And why are saunas key to their revival? Get ready for a day in the life of Nova in Tallinn. Hello, everybody. My name is Roman Muller. Welcome to the Nova factory of amazing things. Usually my day starts at 7.30, so I come to the shop and I put some, um, I have a long playlist of rock music. It's something that we, we love in this company, at least half of the guys like rock, half not. But they have learned to, <laughs> to live with it. I'm preparing lunch, we don't have any cafeterias or any catering places around here, we're coming right out of town. Kind of a morning to, to gather, gather my thoughts and uh, meditate a little bit. With mind and body catered to, Roman and his team can completely focus on the day's tasks. Since the fire, they have battled back to construct a new prototype GT100. By 2.30 this afternoon, it has to be ready for a crucial photo shoot. The battery still isn't in, and that will demand hard work from the team and some electric wizardry <laughs> from chief engineer Eero Tamre. He's our rocket scientist. He's, so he's, he's that kind of a guy who can you know, fix anything. The machines are afraid of him. When he approaches, they, they usually give up and start working. Aero has just a few hours to get the GT100 up and running. It's a watershed moment for the team and for Roman himself, whose path to Novet began with a career switch in 2015. I have built two boats. Before that, I was, um, I was a teacher. The, the inspiration to uh, actually start the company came two years later. And the car that inspired the whole thing is out there, the 1974 Beetle. So I thought, you know, what if we would have a new generation electric Beetle? You know, something that people will love, something that will be easy to build, and something that would be timeless. So that's where the whole idea conceived. Two years since its founding in 2017, Nobe was flying high. Then some wiring in their old workshop sparked a devastating blaze. That was the workshop before. Uh, we can see two cars that were actually running. And then the third one was um, just kind of a mock-up. We wanted to see how would the, the cabrio, the possible cabriolet of, of the car would look like. And 3.20, I got the call from the fire department that the whole thing is ablaze. And so when I arrived and everything was on fire and when the fire was extinguished, then this is and what was left of the shop. Yeah, and I was really thinking, oh man, you know, I, I, I did know, of course, that it's gonna be hard, but, uh, but, it, but it's, it's gonna be that hard. I, that just everything that we had uh, built and, uh, and uh, engineered in two years was kind of wiped off clean in, in like half an hour. Uh, it was a little bit of a tough moment. The stress level was enormous uh, until about a year ago now uh, because I uh, we were 
kind of stuck in the tracks. I mean, uh, we had pretty much no funds to continue developing the car. I used to walk around with the hunched shoulders like this because I would be always thinking, like, how come, how come I can't find, uh, you know, somebody or, or institution or the bank or the financier to, to finance this. But Roman got new backers, a new R&D facility on the outskirts of Tallinn, and the team dared to dream again. Now the moment of truth approaches for their beloved prototype. Will the battery pack fit, and will it get the GT100 going? As the crew lower the GT100 onto its battery pack, the tension crackles in the air. Will it all come together? That's very exciting, very exciting. <laughs> There's no really one challenge. It just takes a lot of engineering, and engineering, it takes a lot of money. So uh, it's still attracting enough uh, investments in order to proceed and get to the production level. <laughs> production could begin by 2023 if Roman can raise at least 3.5 million euros by mid-2022. An intimidating figure, but as we're about to discover, Roman has a special way of letting off steam. It's uh, 11.30. It's time to do the exercising routine. That's the privilege of the CEO, yes. In the back of the facility is a spa paradise with a sauna big enough to fit the whole team. Sauna gives me an uh, opportunity during the daytime to have a half an hour, 45 minute routine uh, to keep myself fit. I relieve the stress and uh, you know you feel like a like a brand new guy after this. While Roman's getting himself ready for action again, we rejoin the team on the workshop floor, where time is running out to get the car ready for the photo shoot. The battery fits, but it's not working. Melis and Aero figure it out soon enough though. The fuse uh, was too small. Now with the correct fuse, it's, it's working. Blue bell is coming alive. Look at this. The wheels are running. Mission complete. Almost. The steering wheel goes on. Isn't that beautiful? Look how it's bold. <laughs> the team have pulled it off, and there's still just enough time left to give the prototype a good polish before the shoot starts. Yeah. How much pressure gets off your shoulders now? Quite a lot. And they're relieved that, that we got it running. And Roman can't resist taking the GT100 for his first ride in two years. The photo shoot will just have to wait. extremely happy that we finally figured out the, the BMS of the battery and the car was running. It's, it's, it's an excellent day. If you know someone as passionate as Roman, like this video and share this day in the life at Nobe and Tallinn with them.